All right, our job for this problem is to determine what is the area of the portion of this figure shaded yellow. Now the entire figure here is a trapezoid and only part of this trapezoid is shaded yellow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the area of the trapezoid, pretending the whole thing is shaded, and then what we're gonna do is subtract from it the area of this semicircle. So we're gonna start by writing the formula for the area of a trapezoid, which is b sub one plus b sub two divided by two times the height of that trapezoid. And after coming up with that solution, we are going to subtract from it the area of this semicircle. Now we know the area of a complete circle is pi times radius to the second power, but we only want to know what half of that area is. So we're going to take this result and divide by two. All right, so let's go ahead and substitute all of the given values. So b sub one is going to be 14. So I'm going to take b sub one and substitute it with 14. And I'm going to take b sub two and substitute that with six. And the height of our trapezoid is eight. Now we can see that the radius of our circle is four and the diameter of a circle is always going to be double of what the radius is. So we are going to substitute the height of the trapezoid with eight. All right, next we're going to take pi and substitute that with 3.14. And then we're going to take the radius and substitute that with 4. All right, so what we're going to do here is just solve everything we have here, and that's going to give us what the area of the yellow portion is. So we're going to start with 14 plus 6, which is 20 and 20 divided by two is 10. And then if we take 10 times eight, that is going to give us 80. All right, now what we have to do is subtract from 80 the area of the semicircle. So the first thing that we have to do is square our radius. So we're gonna take four and raise that to the second power, which is 16. And then we have to multiply 16 by 3.14 and then divide by two. But what I'm going to do here is something a little bit different. So I'm going to write this as 3.14 times 16 divided by 2. Now instead of multiplying 3.14 times 16 first and then dividing by 2, we can actually take the 16 here and cancel it out with this 2 below. So we're going to take 16 over 2 and change that into 8 over 1. And because 1 would be a denominator, we actually don't have to write that. So now all we are tasked with is to multiply 3.14 by 8. So let's go off to the side and do that. So we have 3.14 multiplied by 8. And 8 times 4 is 32. And 8 times 1 is 8 plus 3 is 11. And 8 times 3 is 24 plus the one we carried is 25 and our decimal point goes right here. So now what we have to do is take 80 and subtract from it an area of 25.12 square units. And after subtracting these two values together, that's gonna end up giving us 54.88 square units. Now, if we were to round to the nearest tenth, that would be 54.9 square units, but we can leave our answer like this. And remember, 3.14 is an approximation, so whenever multiplying anything by an approximation, your answer itself is an approximation. So we have to say that the area of the portion shaded yellow is approximately equal to 54.88 square units. All right, thanks for checking out this video and don't forget to subscribe so you can become informed as new tutorials are uploaded to my channel.